The Mercy Seat's a love story, um, ultimately. It's set against the backdrop of September 11th. Um, and it's the day after, and it's when a young man who was supposed to be in the Twin Towers wasn't there. He was at his boss's house, who also happens to be his lover. And so his family, he has a wife and children, believe he's dead. And they're at a moment where they're trying to decide what to do, whether he should go back to his old life, which his mistress has been asking him to leave, and he's been saying he's going to leave, uh, or are they going to run off together and pretend that he's dead? That it was so explicitly about the moral choices people make when tragedy presents itself as an opportunity. And that was something right. nobody else had explored in the wake of our national tragedy at that point. We all felt compelled to hear it or share it again. And this became the perfect thing to do around celebrating 10 years with Neil, which was to do this reading. We started putting it together and uh, the first person we approached was Juliana Margulies, who, you know, all of us argue more about who loves her more. We also have Paul Rudd, which is also another perfect, perfect choice. Who and, has a long history with Neil going back to the shape of things. Plays that I've written, you could probably look at and say, Paul Rudd could have been one of those characters. He's, he's that kind of actor. He's, he's flexible enough to play a lot of stuff, and, and certainly stuff that I've written. And Juliana, I've, I've had in readings before, and we've never had the chance to do a production, per se. So uh, I'm excited about working with two people who, again, I know somewhat and have worked with somewhat, but to put you know, that alchemy of, of two people who haven't done a play together together and be a part of that and to direct it is exciting.